This is Bumper to Bumper TV. Good morning. Welcome to our 10th annual Green Car of the Year presentation at the LA Auto Show. Uh, I'm not going to tell you we're at the epicenter of car culture because uh, Brendan stole my line. So we are at the the nexus of uh, and the universe for car culture here in Southern California. Over the years, from this stage, it's been evident at Green Car Journal that we do not envision a single answer to more environmentally positive transportation. Uh, and as it happens, new car buyers agree. You know, some drivers favor the highest fuel efficiency possible, a feature that addresses both fuel savings and reductions in greenhouse gas emissions. Others want their green mixed in with thrilling acceleration and uh, great road handling. And some simply want a mainstream sedan that offers all the comfort, convenience, and con connectivity they expect in a new ride, but with features that appeal to their environmental sensibilities. This is the green car field we know today. It's one that's evolved significantly from those early days of hybrids and in fact from the 1990 marketing demonstrations of battery electric cars, new gasoline models uh, featuring near zero emissions and cars powered by methanol, ethanol, propane, natural gas, and hydrogen. In fact, it was here at the LA Auto Show in 1990 when GM unveiled its impact electric car concept a milestone vehicle that paved the way for the production GM EV1 electric car and in fact paved the way for the modern electric cars uh, we see here today. We've been focused on electric cars, uh, alternative fuels, and efficient vehicles at Green Car Journal ever since. In fact, the EV1 is uh, so important to the mindset of green cars, it's featured on the cover of our 25 years of green car special edition we have here at the show today. Please uh, pick one up in the media center or we have them out here as well. Now, back in the 90s, this field was driven by legislation like the Clean Air Act amendments of 1990, the Energy Policy Act of 1992, and of course, California's new zero emission vehicle mandate. California and federal requirements have evolved over the years, but the overarching goals remain the same. Cleaner cars, alternative fuels, and higher fuel efficiency join these days with a, a new emphasis on CO2 reductions. All this is why we're here today, celebrating the truly amazing vehicles that bring us not only vastly improved environmental performance, but all the features we require as car enthusiasts. And I think that's what it's all about. In its early years, hybrids often dominated Green Car of the Year nominees because they was the these were the vehicles most actively addressing higher efficiencies, lower emissions, greater petroleum displacement. In fact, 13 of the 15 finalists in our first three Green Car of the Year award programs were hybrids. But in 2009, something changed. The mix expanded, reflecting a changing market. All of you recognize this as at the time, of course, uh, on the show floor here in LA, in Detroit, and elsewhere. High efficiency gasoline, clean diesel mainstream models became the new green, along with battery electric cars, a growing array of hybrids, and plug-in hybrids. All these have been finalists uh, in recent award years, plus a natural gas Civic model from Honda that won Green Car of the Year three years ago. The reason for this evolving field is clear. New car buyers have decided that environmental performances must meet their needs and expectations, and these can vary widely. The auto industry has stepped up to offer wide-ranging vehicles that meet these needs with an array of models, fuels, and technologies. Our field of finalists for 2015 reflect this. They emerged our top five after an extensive vetting process that considers all vehicles, technologies, and fuels, focusing on models that offer gr admirable green uh, qualities and substantially raise the bar in environmental performance. Vehicles that are all new or in the earliest stages of their model life cycle offer particular significance. Finalists must be on sale by January 1st of the award year. Available and market significance are factors to ensure that models have the potential to make a real impact on improving air quality, reducing greenhouse gases, and promoting transportation efficiency in general. 
Our Green Card of the Year jurors have a challenging job. All of the finalists are exceptional in their own way. Green Card Journal editors and contributing editors, all lifelong car guys who previously spent time as editors at magazines like Hot Rod, Car Craft, Motor Trend, and others, take their job seriously. And I'd like to give a nod of thanks to these Green Car of the Year jurors, Todd Cahill, Jeff Carr, Drew Harden, and Cam Benty, for their hard work and insight during the process of weighing the merits of the five finalists during the judging process. Our invited jurors, experts in the field, and leaders of the nation's most high-profile environmental and efficiency organizations also get our heartfelt thanks. These jurors include Jean-Michel Cousteau, president of Ocean Futures Society, Matt Peterson, board member of Global Green USA, Mindy Lubber, president of Cirrus, Kateri Callahan, president of the Alliance to Save Energy, and Dr. Alan Lloyd, President Emeritus of the International Council on Clean Transportation and former Cal EPA Secretary and Chairman of the California Air Resources Board. And of course, Green Care of the Year juror, uh, juror Jay Leno, as most of you know, is not just a consummate TV personality, but a true car guy and a collector of some of the finest vehicles ever made. This year, our finalists include an, a high efficiency gasoline model, a clean diesel, an electric car, a sedan that runs on natural gas or gasoline, and a model that includes efficient gasoline, clean diesel, and electric variations. They are the Audi A3 TDI, BMW i3, Chevrolet Impala Bifuel, Honda Fit, and Volkswagen Golf. Audi's A3 TDI presents an exciting choice for those looking to go upscale and green appearing for the first time in a stylish four-door configuration. Offering a lightweight carbon fiber reinforced body and an aluminum drive module, BMW's i3 offers environment conscious drivers all electric drive with an optional internal combustion range extender to ease range anxiety. The Chevrolet Impala Bifuel sedan breaks new ground by offering the comfort and functionality of a popular mid-sized four-door sedan with the ability to drive on affordable, clean natural gas or conventional gasoline. Honda's third generation FIP features a new space-efficient body and flexible seating configuration to bring, bring class-leading interior room combined with 41 highway mile per gallon from a new 1.5 liter Earth Dreams gasoline engine. VW's seventh generation Golf offers something for everyone stylish and fun package, a new two-liter TDI engine, efficient four-cylinder gasoline in some areas of the country, all electric drive. Our Green Car of the Year winner stands out as one of the most unique vehicles ever to be in introduced by any automaker. It breaks the mold, literally, with a strong and lightweight body using materials and technology at home on the racetrack used for the first time in a mass market production car. This car is the result of an extensive and far-reaching initiative launched in 2007 to develop sustainable answers to driving in the urban, crowded urban environments expected in the uh, uh, world's megacities of the future. This megacity vehicle benefited from extensive research, development, and technology demonstrations, projects over many years conducted on multiple continents to learn about consumer preferences, driving habits, and real-world use in order to offer the first electric vehicle possible. I'm proud to announce Green Car Journal's 2015 Green Car of the Year is the innovative electric BMW i3. I'd like to congratulate BMW and ask Tom Plusinski, Director of Corporate Communications from BMW of North America, to the stage to accept the award. And we'll make a presentation and provide photo ops after we're done here. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, Ron, you stole all my lines. I have nothing more to say about the car. Um, I think we should unveil it now, right? Yeah, yeah I believe that should be unveiled. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't keep them guessing. So, the i3 began as an idea back in 19, uh, 2007, I should say. And it now is here on the roads in L.A. and around the country, and around the world for that matter. 
and we're really honored to, to accept this award. The I brand, I3 and I8, have been huge energy infusers to the BMW brand. We've been talking about these cars for several years because we had to build four plants on two continents to make it all possible, and now we have it here. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Green Car Journal, for this wonderful award. Our friends back in Munich will be very happy about this. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.